Well, hello there, everyone. Hopefully, all is good, well, and amazing with you guys. Um, so, as promised, we are starting the YouTube channel. Uh, so, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it diverges and is a little bit different than what I post onto the Facebook group. But for right now, it's probably going to be similar just because I'm used to saying the things I guess I say. Yeah. Anyways, um, so this YouTube channel is going to be primarily for beginners at running. However, even if you're like intermediate, you understand things, but you're no expert, hopefully it helps you out too. Um, but regardless, I'm going to do what I can um, and ultimately serve you the best way possible. Uh, so there's three different things we're going to cover in this video today. The first is that everyone can be a runner. Um, well, with, with stipulations, I guess if you, you have no legs, it might be hard. But um, yeah, for the most part, everybody can be a runner. So we're going to dive into that and why. Um, the next thing is progression. Because obviously, you can't teach calculus to a baby in one day, just like you can't get a runner to be able to run a marathon in one week. Lastly, I'm not sure. I'll think of the last point um, when we get there. But for right now, I can't think of what it was. So... With that said, we're going to dive into it. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. It is my very strong belief that every single person can be a runner. Now, what does that exactly mean? Does it mean every single person is going to be able to run a marathon? Wait, I have to go how far? Um, you know what? That's that's probably a little bit more up to debate. But um, in my opinion, I honestly do believe if that is something you're shooting for, there is nothing holding you back except for yourself. There's a lot of people out there who believe that it's all about talent. And make no mistake, talent does play a factor in almost anything in this world. But at the end of the day, it's hard work that determines just what you're going to achieve and said whatever it is. There's a lot of people out there who are like, well, what's the point? Um, it's extremely hard. I don't like doing it. And, um, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of things out there that people didn't like doing when they first started, um, but are a lot better at it and um, maybe even enjoy it. So don't let that stop you either, because I promise you um, it does get easier. Your body adjusts. It's a fantastic machine that knows how to <laughs> basically make things as easy as it possibly can. Um, so stay at it. Just a few tips. Hopefully you enjoyed those. Inspiring words from an expiring person. Yeah, kind of weird talking about myself, but it's okay. You know, it's a YouTube channel. You can do almost anything, right? Anyways, on to the next subject. So the next thing you guys would want to be thinking of is progression. And I guess the best way to describe that is taking you from a point of, um, you know, sitting on a couch to uh eight to nine mile run always into it not bad yeah so obviously it's a journey not a destination so if you guys some of you out there are six minute milers maybe seven some of you might even have a five minute mile pr um but it's how do we get you from a one mile at five uh, minutes to two miles at 10 minutes maybe even to three miles at 15 minutes um, and that's what we're going to follow during the course of these videos is that mindset. So if that definitely sounds interesting to you, then you're in store for an epic amount of epicness. Yep. Still running. It's taking a while. This is insane. Guess what? We remembered, or well, we, I remembered what the last point was. And you ready for it? Goal setting. Uh, so, yeah, I guess. Listen in to what I have to say. So we are on to goal setting, and there are three really big things that you guys um, should be thinking about when you're goal setting, especially for running. Um, the biggest thing is obviously knowing what your goal is. Uh, so whether or not you're training for a 5K or in the train for a marathon, just having that in your head and knowing that that's truly what you want to achieve. Uh, secondly, making sure um, that your goals are realistic and that you think you can truly accomplish them. 997. 998, and lastly, um, is just making sure you're willing to put in the work to accomplish that goal. Uh, like we are saying before, your body is an amazing machine and it can adapt to virtually anything as long as you give it permission to. We're going to make sure that we're doing our best to educate you and make sure you're getting the best training possible. 
Um, so yeah, stay tuned. And we- so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, not sure what to call it yet. Been thinking of names, but nothing's popping. This sounds like fantastic idea. I don't know. Maybe Nim Nation sound good to you guys. Run Squared, GLRC Plus, Mighty Runner. We'll think of something. But in any case, if you guys have any ideas, then obviously leave a comment in the comment section. Um, Hopefully you subscribe so you know what the next episode is. uh, Because since we covered our bases, now it's time to actually talk about how you go about um, implementing a true plan and figuring out what it is you need to do. With that said, you guys, venture on. Fun stuff. Eight miles. At least I'm done, right? Ah, Tiring.